a decade ago. And you got the plunge team that tries to help the stock market, and they try to deter movements up in precious metals. But look, look at the price of silver, look at the price of gold, platinum, palladium, all going through the roof. It is the, entirely the best asset class that money can buy. And we know that they manipulate the market. We know that Bernanke and Geithner and all these guys, they all try to do it because as gold and silver goes up, it destroys the value of paper currencies. But there's a new thing coming. I told you remember this, the Pan-Asia Gold Exchange. And Mr. McGuire was explaining why he's predicting that this exchange is going to usher in a new demand for physical gold and silver. He says it will send shock waves through the mechanisms for price discovery for both gold and silver. Because it's backed by China's state administration for foreign exchange. And also the Chinese Security Regulatory Commission. But the biggest bombshell is the offer of a renminbi traded gold contract for international investors. And as we told you, China, folks, China's going to have the world's reserve currency because very soon, in less than a year, I'm predicting that China will now will be the world's number one economy. They will be the big. They already supplanted Japan as number two. And by all practical intents and purposes, they are right now. Nobody's just admitted it yet. But it's concrete evidence that China plans to bring the renminbi to the world stage because it's going to provide access to much more physical gold and silver than what's available right now. It's going to attract a lot of attention. And it will probably take the majority of the world's precious metals business. This is what's happening. Oh, but, you know, don't believe me. Turn on Karen Finnerman, all right, and Fast Money, and listen to Kudlow, and listen to Kramer, all right? Because these guys are always right, aren't they? Yeah, Kramer telling you to buy bank stocks right before the uh, collapse came. Because they don't won't give you one piece of news on these on these financial stations that we share with you here. Not one. The Pan-American, Pan-Asia Gold Exchange is going to attract a lot of world attention. Providing much more of the Chinese and international customers an alternative platform than the London Metals Exchange and the COMEX, which we know are Ponzi schemes. Without question. They're trading and selling a hundred times more actual metal than actually exists. They're kind of like the old goldsmiths, because they think, well, nobody will ever want it at the same time, so we can oversell it a hundred times. Because after all, you're just going to sell your paper contract, right? You're not going to take delivery of it. Well, the first contract is going to kick in this month. They're 10-ounce gold purchase contract. And it's going to have a major impact on the demand side of precious metals, because... How about the AG Bank of China? How about one bank? One bank in China that's going to sell these gold contracts, and we know that the Chinese love to buy gold because they have a 27,000 ton shortage for physical buyers of gold in China, as it is right now, on an annual basis, 27,000 tons. So only the big guys get to buy gold in China. In other words, if you come in and buy, you know, 10 or 12 or 20 kilos of gold, then they'll allow you to buy gold in China. But the little guy, you can't go in and buy 10 ounces of gold. You don't qualify. That's all going to change. I want you to think about this one bank, AG Bank, which is going to handle these contracts. You know how many customers AG Bank has in China? Only think about it for a minute. You know what the population is of the United States? That's the customers that AG Bank in China has. Over 300 million. You know, one of these days, a white bulb will go on. I hope the hell it's not a fluorescent one. <laughs> 320 million. If only 1% of AG Bank says, hey, I want that 10 ounce deal, that's 1,000 tons of gold right there. You know, you know what the percentage is of their customers that are probably going to buy these? It's probably closer to 80% people. Maybe 90 maybe a hundred, and we're going to have this because it's going to, now you're going to have price discovery, and you're going to have shortages of gold and silver. That's what it's going to create, and the real shortages in the market will be exposed. Silver should go to $200 an ounce, easy. 
gold five to ten thousand. I mean, Ron Paul knows it, five to ten thousand dollars. The impact of silver, though, they're going to say it's even more pronounced. Silver is such a small market, it's already in short supply. It's just a tinderbox. And the bottom line is, folks, I mean, th this announcement came out this week. Look what gold and silver did. Boom. It isn't because of anything else. I mean, we've had the, a, the uh, European contagion going on now for almost two years. It's not that. It's not that quantitative easing three of the announcement that it could resume was announced. I'm going to tell you why the price of gold and silver went up. It's this announcement. On the bottom line, the shorts, folks, are going to be looking for a quick exit. You'll see no more J.P. Morgan silver shorts. See no more Goldman Sachs gold shorts. Because they're going to get clean. When you start factoring this type of physical demand in, from 320 million potential gold buyers at 10 ounces apiece and multiple contracts, you do the math on it. This is why you need to get in. Pick up the six packs. Pick up the Liberty Trio. Buy silver. We've got uh, silver rounds. They're the same as silver eagles. They just don't say $1 on them. Call us at 800 992 We talked about uh, 